Hey guys, welcome back to the Disney Housewife channel. If you're new here, my name's Heather, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. It is not a large haul, but there were a few things at the Dollar Tree today that I saw that were new, so I went ahead and grabbed them. I needed a few things for some crafts I'm getting ready to do, some little DIYs, and I wanted to share them with you. And before we jump into this, if you've not yet subscribed, please take a second to do that before you leave today. Like this video if you like the Dollar Tree content, and I will do my best to start bringing these hauls back to you guys. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So this is not a long video. I mainly went in to get some glue sticks, but you know how that goes. You go in for one thing, you bring out 20, right? The first thing I grabbed when I was in there today is this 8x10 stretched canvas. It is on a frame if you're not familiar with the canvases from the Dollar Tree. What I wanted to do with this is create a Starbucks or coffee mug type pen board. I wanted to try to display this on a future coffee bar and see how that goes. But that was the plan for this and um, I'm not sure which way I will display it. I'll probably lay some pens out and see how it works. But uh, I will film a video of me doing the DIY of how I'm going to decorate the frame pin board, whatever you want to call it, um, and how I will be displaying it, how I'm going to add the pins to it. So that will be in a future video. I'm not sure if I'll get to it uh, right now or if that will come later in the fall, but I will definitely be doing that and bringing you guys along for that. So again, if you're not subscribed and you're interested in Disney pins, that's your thing, then stay tuned because this is going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, I did come in for some glue sticks, so I did pick up a package of these. And um, this is typically where I do get my glue sticks because there are 20 for a dollar and I do use the small ones anyway. Um, I've tried to use bigger glue guns before and honestly my grip doesn't hold the bigger glue guns so I struggle with that a lot. So it's easier for me to use the mini glue guns and therefore I use the mini sticks. So always need a new pack of a lot of ears to make in the near future so I needed that. Um, I also found these little mini glass containers. Um, they look like little uh, keepsake vials or whatever. You can see bigger ones with seashells and sand and things like that in them. I know the pair of ears I'm going to be using these for, so that will be a lot of fun to do too. And I'm hoping to also film a video on that. Thinking about you guys and bringing you guys some more fun content. You guys have been asking me for some DIYs, so I'm really thinking ahead and thinking about all the fun things I can do uh, for you guys on this channel, and I'm totally inspired by this Dollar Tree trip. These items were new to my store. They may be old news to everyone else, but they had these really retro looking trendy keychains. I'll give you a up close look at this one. Um, there we go. So I am going to be spray painting these and doing a DIY with these. This one just says the future is female. That's pretty tacky in my opinion, but whatever. Um, so they have this one and then this one just says take it easy. So they're not going to remain in these colors anyway. I'm going to spray paint them and uh, do some stuff with my Cricut and make them amazing. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and the back of them are plain as well. So these are um, kind of printed on. There are no stickers or anything that I'll have to remove. So I'll just rough them up a little bit and then spray paint them and do uh, some fun DIY project. Again, another video for you guys. So I picked up a package. It's not a package. It's a spool. Um, I thought it was ribbon, but it says that it is gym mesh but it's three yards and i think i've seen someone use this for um like in kanto a uh, pair of ears there's just a lot of vibrant colors in here really really pretty um and i thought you know what what the hey i might try to make myself something and this is the first time i've seen this in the store so i grabbed that for a future diy at the checkout i did pick up this sewing kit that I am going to be needing for a pair of ears very, very soon. It comes in this cute little case. Let's see. It comes in this cute little case, so I'll be using the contents inside of it. But I love the little case, and it has like a little uh, clasp closure there. You can see it right there. Um, I'm like, I could totally throw this in my purse for other use when I'm done with the contents of this. But it's really cute. It comes with a sewing needle, tape measure, um, different various colors of thread, a few buttons, um, thimble, 
and safety pins, um, needle threader. I feel like I saw scissors in there, but I might be wrong. I don't know. Yep, there is a mini pair of scissors in here too. So it's a cute little thing for $1.25. And again, like I'm, I'm jazzed about that little case to use for other things in my purse. Um, so that was a fun find. And then, because our Dollar Tree usually just has a package about this big with like 20 different uh, like thread samples. They're not a lot to really do a lot of sewing with, but they're just the little mini little mini uh, spools of them. So I've gotten them that way before, but that was the first time I've seen them in that little kit. Um, and the next one I have not seen before, this is a seven piece like exacto knife. So it's a craft knife set. I have seen it with just one blade and then the actual handle on it before, but I've never seen it with um, six assorted blades. So I was excited to pick this up. I hope that it works. I don't know. I've bought one before from there and it lasted me about a year. So if I can get a year out of this, uh, I will be happy. I love their new craft section. It just feels like it's growing every time that I go in. And um, today was no exception. They have these cute little wood hanging signs and I will be making a cute little ornament out of this for a Christmas tree. I thought this would be a lot of fun. Uh, plenty of room to put something on here um, and make it really cute. Um, such potential for different sayings, Disney, Harry Potter, whatever you wanted to put on here. You could use it as a faith-based sign or your tree. Um, I just thought it was really cute. So I cannot wait to uh, make a ornament out of this. Let's see if I can see the size of it. No, it doesn't really say, but it's, it's not super oversized. Um, so it was really cute. They had a lot of them there. They've got a lot of cute hanging signs that are, uh, plain where you can decorate them yourself so that's really awesome next thing i got i got for one of michaela's friends so if you are michaela's best friend press pause and stop watching <laughs> um but this is a cute uh washi tape really pretty pink and it says oh happy day and there's some green polka dots and stuff in the background really cute washi tape she loves to use her planner as well so i had to pick that up for her and also this next item, I thought these were so cute. These are rub-on transfers, so they're not really stickers. Um, but I thought they were so cute. May your days be fruitful, so sweet, stay fresh, you're a fine apple, wear a crown. Um, and it basically says this at the bottom, tropical vibes as well uh, as all of the other stuff that it had at the top. And then there's like emoji form in the pineapples, so those are really cute. And then it shows on the back how you can like rub them onto your planner or other items. So I thought that was a lot of fun. She might enjoy that as well. So I thought I would get that for her. And the next three things are for Michaela. She loves Shrek. Not any Shrek. She loves Shrek 2. Couldn't care less about the rest of them. But she loves the second one. Um, so this is the first time I'm seeing these little Shrek toys. They had Donkey as well. They didn't have Fiona. Um, but anyway, I just got Shrek because that's her favorite for the Shrek franchise. And it is a Mattel toy. And here he is. So I thought this would be really cute to throw in her birthday bag. He does come on this little stand, which is really cool. So you don't have to worry about him like falling over if you tried to stand him up. So this was really fun to find. First time ever Shrek items. All right, guys, we are almost finished. I have two items left to share with you. Um, you know, Michaela and I love Sesame Street. I've shared that with you guys probably way too much. Um, but she does love Sesame Street. And I think two summers ago, I think it was summer of 2020. Summer of 2020? Yes. I was in treatment. Damon took her to Target and found her this set of Sesame Street characters. Um, they almost look like little people, but they were in a box. And they had like nine or ten characters in them. Well... <laughs> It's not that she needed more, and these are duplicates of one she already has, but they had two of them in the store individually packaged. So we were able to find Cookie Monster and Elmo, um, and like I said, these are exactly the same. I'm not going to take them out because I won't throw them in her birthday bag or just like a, a random treat kind of thing for her, um, but they do have a pull pouch, so they're easy to open, um, but yeah, Cookie Monster and then Elmo. Uh, super cute. 
I know she's going to flip out for both of those and Shrek, of course. So that is going to do it for this small Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below if you've watched this all the way through and let me know what DIY you're most looking forward to seeing. Is it the pen board for my Starbucks and mug pens? Is it the ears that I'm going to be making? Or is it what I'm going to be doing with those little keychains? I can't wait to hear your thoughts. So make sure you keep that conversation going in the comments below. I hope you guys have a blessed day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!